guys welcome to expertizer academy so today we're going to see in civil 3d something called feature lines so what is a feature line so feature line is a tool that you can find under home tab and um, so this feature line people sometimes get confused um, this with um, you know other other strings that you find in civil 3d so you got alignments you got profile lines and you got sample lines so you see there is a lot of other strings that you will find within civil 3d and um, feature line is one of them so what is it used for and what is the purpose of creating a feature line and why do we need it so feature line is basically sort of like um, like a like a guiding line with which you can use it to create other design objects the same concept that you use it for alignment and profile the feature line is less a little less intelligent compared to an alignment and a profile but it is a 3d line so the if you look at alignment it is it is pretty much it has got only from a plan view you can guide a corridor or you can you can guide a pipe or any any of those objects from a plan view whereas with the with the profile in the case it's a it's a vertical control so the alignment takes care of the horizontal control and the uh, profile takes care of the vertical control whereas a feature line is a is a replacement to a 3d poly line and it can take care of xyz values that means it can be used to create um, even corridors and uh, pipes and a lot of these objects that you can use it um, use the feature line to create it it's a little bit more advanced compared to a regular polyline with the feature line you can control the vertices the directions the slope everything so it's much more easier okay so let's get to it so there are a few ways that you can create a feature line so first one is you can create a feature line from a from a basic tool um, so first thing is uh, we need to create something called a site um, so I will do a separate video on sites uh, when I get some time uh, so for now you can uh, you can choose none or you can choose a specific site uh, so typically if you choose none that means the objects which is or non site that means it's not specified into a site uh, they can interact with uh, objects within any sites if you're gonna put your feature line into a particular site only objects within this feature line can uh, within the site can be talking to each other so the things that are uh, within uh, with, with our site objects or alignment is a site object your feature line grading group and then uh, parcels so all of these ones are called site objects that means you can put into a bucket so once you put it to a bucket objects which are inside another bucket cannot talk to objects within one bucket so that's what sites are so for now I'm just going to choose none so not a big deal and next one is the styles and same way you can click on this option to customize uh, make your own feature line colors and whatever you want to do with that and then the layers by default it goes to C dash feature lines so if you want to put into another layer you can obviously do that and um, <coughs> and click on OK and uh, you can start drawing the feature line so now I'm just going to uh, start clicking and then watch the command line for instructions so I'm going to say click and then it is asking um, do you want to use a surface elevation which is at this point the surface elevation is 420 or you want to have a specific elevations let's say I'm going to cho choose 450 and I'm going for the next point and then it say uh, it's asking for a slope value so from this point let's say I want to have 2.5 percentage slope or minus 2.5 so however you want the slope based on the slope it will actually travel to that point so that would be the slope option elevation you can specify elevation of this point difference from this point you can have a difference and then it can actually go up and down and then uh, surface it will get the uh, elevation from the surface and it will actually put the point on top of the surface and then uh, transitions so transitions you can use it and um, you can specify between two points you can specify the location where you want this point to be so now I'm going to choose surface and that's the surface elevation press enter and then uh, the feature line is created so now if you look at it uh, this feature line you can select it and then you get the tools on the top remember if it's a 3d polyline you may not have all these tools up here so now you got whole bunch of tools with which you can control uh, the feature lines so this is a basic way of creating a feature line and another option is um, so let me get rid of that another option is let's say if I have a polyline and um, and then I go to the feature line and then there is an option that says create feature line from objects click on that and then click on the 
polyline press enter and now you see this box it was disabled in the previous one because we were creating the feature line from scratch now we are actually creating a feature line from another reference object now in that case we got an option that says erase the existing entity which will delete the polyline once the feature lines are created assign elevations that means you can actually assign to all of those nodes and v dot points if the points are too closer it will weed them out now click ok and the feature line is created now you can select the feature line and then you can go and edit it and you can adjust the uh, elevations for all those points so now feature lines we will we will do bit by bit so this is basically an introduction on how to create a feature line so later chapters we will also see how to actually edit them and uh, make more sophisticated feature lines all right guys thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you have any questions let me know thank you